So I was like basic 2020 guy. I baked sourdough for a while. <laughs> Thought it would be restful and re relaxing. Last week I threw away my starter because it's not. <laughs> I'm a basic 2020 guy. Our cliche COVID hobbies included Matt getting out his childhood train set and just playing trains in the basement and no one joining him. All his dreams <laughs> of the family gathered around the antique train set. We, we put it out in the alley a little while ago. <laughs> I bought a ukulele. I know five chords, but I still can't strum. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of nothing. It's a lot of, is that a song I know? No, it's not. How's your somewhere over the rainbow? <laughs> Pretty good. <Sure>. Pretty good. <laughs> church welcome back to wednesday voices tonight we're talking about sabbath we get introduced to sabbath right away in the bible god creates for six days everything from light to humankind and then says it's good it's very good i'm gonna rest before any more creation or relationship god stops and delights in what has been so far before moving on to what's next. And then Sabbath is given over to us as a command in the Ten Commandments. When God says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Every seventh day, stop what you're doing and remember that I am God and you are not. You are in charge of a few things, not all the things. God has always known that we need a break in our rhythm and our chasing of productivity to remember that we're human beings and we're already and always enough. Tonight we get to think about the difference between renewal and just relaxing. And so we'll begin uh, with a blessing from my book called For Rest. The world hustles and benefits from a cruel lie. Idleness must be earned. It is reserved for the privileged who have achieved some success a reward only after everything has been given or taken. But our bodies and souls know better. They remember the seventh day of creation, the generation of rest, the rhythm of a holy pause before there could be more living. When we rest, we call out the lie for the sake of those fooled into thinking they are too powerful to rest for the sake of those who are unsafe when they pause for peace. When we rest, we can remember it is not a reward, but an essential beat. For in our stopping, we witness what God is doing inside and way beyond us. There's a big difference between rest and relaxing, and we always confuse the two. One of the things that I find myself doing far too often and have done my entire life is, is thinking that relaxing, that checking out, that escaping from the world around me will restore me, will fill me up, will provide me with the energy that I need. I can't tell you the number of days and weekends that have been lost in video games that were fun but the 12 hours spent playing Civilization didn't really restore me or provide me with the kind of energy that I need to do the things that I need to do to live as the person that God calls me to live in this world. When I was in elementary school and junior high and high school, my mom kind of kept an eye on how I was doing as a person where my energy level was, where my mental health was. And every once in a while, when I was f feeling run down and didn't really notice it, she would call me out and say, you're staying home today. 
and you're not going to go to school, you're not going to work on your homework, you just need to be. And that was an incredible gift, a gift of Sabbath. And that is what God desires for each one of us all the time. A gift to renew, to restore, so that we can come back and do the things we need to do with the kind of energy that we need to do it with. I have a really hard time untangling my identity from what I produce and what I can achieve. I was recently talking to a bunch of friends who are about my age about what you would do if you had your house to yourself for a whole day. And I think we all talked about getting stuff done and not even stuff that we like to do, just stuff that would make us feel less stressed out if it was off our list. I realize it took us a while to get around to talking about taking care of ourselves and being fully present with ourselves. There's a long list of things that are never done and God probably knows that better than any of us. So God is built into our week, into our rhythm of being alive, an opportunity to set the list down and to turn off the striving and to remember that we're already enough and we're loved no matter what. And from that place, we can begin to refuel and be known more completely and prepare for whatever comes next. So if this year has taught us anything, it is just how important rest is. But it's hard to do. So we want you to think uh, with those that you're watching this with about what are the reasons, what are the things that prevent you, that get in the way of resting. Then, I want you to have some conversation about, in your mind, what's the difference between relaxing and resting? How do you relax? How do you unwind? How do you check out? And how do you genuinely rest? And then finally, how do you feel after you've rested? What's different? What feels possible? Spend some time talking with folks around you, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us.